Hello everyone, if you've subscribed to the channel, you should be aware that recently I got a PS5, finally. Now, one of the reasons I got the PS5 was um, for the PS VR 2, which is the uh, new VR headset that's coming out soon. Um, and one of the things I noticed about, in all of the marketing material for this thing, um, and in all of the demos I've seen of it, um, is that they always have um, a pair of headphones on. And this headset doesn't actually meant to have headphones with it in the box. I think it's got earplugs or something like that. Um, but they never use those to test it, so um, I was a little bit confused. Um, these headphones are PlayStation's um, Pulse 3D headphones. They're the proper official ones that come in the store. Uh, they're made by Sony, so in theory they're very, very good. So I got some. Now, the reason why I bought these is because I wanted to test them out. I wanted to make sure when I'm um, doing the VR stuff, I have the best experience that Sony recommend. So um, that is one of the reasons as well. And also, I'm a bit curious um, for a couple of reasons. Um, the first reason is 3D. It's meant to be 3D spatial audio, um, which um, I'm a big fan of, that type of thing. And it's meant to make your games way more immersive. So really looking forward to that apparently um but i'm also interested to see how they compare to normal headphones like i've got a pair of headphones that cost more than what these cost brand new and i think are these going to be better because i'm using them for the ps5 um or not i mean it actually says for the ps5 ps4 yeah so is it going to be better on the ps5 than it would be just using normal headphones and are these ones going to be as good at doing other things as those headphones too so that's what the video is about let's get started now before i open this um i do a lot of unboxings on this channel and um there are certain things that you unbox and you just feel like that just feels really quality um and playstation um has, has been okay it's not been some of the best unboxings that i've done it's not been the worst yeah. i'm a little bit concerned about this one i don't know if this is how it's meant to be but this is the one i got it is still sealed i'm trying to peel the thing off um, but this is how it sounds it sounds very rattly i'm not a big fan of that okay, so finally got this seal open again the stickers and stuff like that to seal boxes I'm, again much bigger fan of when it's actually sealed and you can just peel something off that i'm trying not to judge too early let's open this thing up okay so this is what it looks like opening it. We've got some manuals it looks like up here. Yeah, manuals. We've got a little section. I'll look at that in a second. And then that opens up. And we have the headphones. Um, I've gone for the matte black. Um, I was actually wanting the white ones, but these were the only ones that were available to me. Um, I couldn't see any that were in stock in the, in the white and black. But I mean, they're pretty cool actually anyway, aren't they? That's, uh, it's quite low key. Right, so I'll put those down there. Now... Let's open this thing up. So inside here we have our cables. So we've got um, a USB-A to USB-C. We have a um, auxiliary cable. And we have the little um, USB drive that goes into the back of the PlayStation. Now, um, these aren't, I don't know if these are Bluetooth headphones or not. I know that they obviously connect straight to the little dongle and you don't have to do any other setting up. Um, but um, is that as good as having other like an actual connection straight to the console and um, that's probably a little bit of a better connection and it helps with the 3d stuff i guess but it's just a shame that you have to sort of carry that around if you want to use this with other things can i pair them bluetooth to my computer without a dongle or am i going to be using a dongle all the time do i have to carry a dongle around with me I'm not sure how i feel about that okay so these are the headphones um few just quick things and impressions before i put them on um they feel very light which is a good thing for headphones however they do feel they're very plastic it it's just very very much a light plastic material um well that's quite nice I quite like the um the little spacer thing and then um, you've got the big cups do the cups come out can you change the cups uh not easily so maybe not. Uh, and then on the back here, you've got all, so all your controls on one side. So you've got um, the USB port to charge it. You've got the little um, auxiliary cable, so you can plug it in via that if you want to use those. Volume, uh, you've got a monitor on and off. I guess that's so you can hear if you're um, using your voice. And then you've got a little chat to game volume. So if you're chatting with your friends, you can turn them down, turn the game down if you can't hear what they're saying. Okay, and then um, we do have... Um, microphones on these as well so there's a microphone just over here at the bottom and i think there's a microphone at the top on that side too so basically the way that works is it uses um, the top microphone to work out what ambient sounds are happening and the bottom microphone to listen to your voice and then through the two of those it then works out um, and tries to make your voice sound a bit clearer on chat i guess so i will test that out as well so now i'm just going to compare them to some headphones i've got here 
Um, they're not any, they're not the most special headphones in the world, but they are um, decent headphones, and I use these as sort of my regulars. Um, these are more expensive, so it's a bit of an unfair comparison, I guess. Um, however, they have not been designed for the PlayStation, so if this can do things better than these can, then that's a great thing. This has um, got a lot more metal, and it's a bit heavier. Um, these are definitely a lot lighter. Um, they're comfortable, but um, it'll be interesting to see which one I think it will be better for the gaming aspect of it. And these ones are almost definitely going to be better for things like mixing and doing my editing and stuff like that. But um, it will be interesting to see how they perform on the console. Okay, so I guess first thing to do is to uh, get the old dongle plugged in. So that's what we're going to do. See, I'm going to plug it into one of the USB uh, A ports, the USB 3.0 ports on the back of the console. We are in. Right, and I guess the next thing to try is to just put them on and see how they are, I guess. Let's uh, get the console on. I would say the first thing is that they are actually quite comfortable. The cups are quite big, which is a good thing. I mean, it fits all my ears in, and I haven't got the smallest ears. Um, and yeah, this band up here, be interested to see how that feels after a long time, but we'll have to we we'll have to just test it out, I guess. All right, so, oh, the sound just kicked in now. And let me just feel. There's no sound coming on the TV. So it automatically mutes the TV, which is nice. Set up 3D audio for your headphones, optimize the sound for your ears, and then listen and compare to the difference between stereo and 3D audio. All right, let's go. I'm gonna start off playing um, Miles Morales, Spider-Man. Let's see if we look at this monitor thing, because apparently there's, the monitor thing is on. So switch that on. And then, oh yeah, so I can almost hear my voice a little bit coming through. It means that it sounds a little bit less muffled, which is, I guess, better. I'm not going to use it when I'm testing it, though. Okay, so I, um, I've i done a little bit of playing with them. I've uh, played a few games. I've done a little bit of testing, um, just like listening to music, connecting them to my laptop, which you can do. Um, these are my thoughts. So... I don't know, really know what I was expecting when I opened these up. Um, there's part of me that was expecting them to be really good because I've heard loads of really good reviews about them. Um, and there's part of me that was expecting them to just be fairly average. And I think I'm right in a couple of ways. Now, in terms of sound quality, um, I, I wouldn't say these are bad. They're not bad at all. They're, they do sound good. They aren't the best headphones that you can get. I mean, obviously, because they're not the most expensive headphones you can get. For the price point, they're actually pretty spot on. You don't get any features like noise cancelling or um, anything like that, and it is just sort of fairly decent sound. Uh, it's not going to blow you away how good the sound is, but it's also not bad in any way. I would say maybe it lacks a little bit of stuff on the, on the low end, Although on the PS5 you can go and change the EQ and sort of bump that up a little bit uh, if you want to. Um, but comparing them to my sort of, um, my headphones that I have, my JBLs, I would say they are, I mean they are more expensive headphones. Uh, they have noise cancelling and stuff like that and they the sound is a lot better. So if I plugged the um, cable into the, and compared the two with um, Bluetooth wirelessly, um, which you can't do on external headphones or using a wire in the remote. The JBLs definitely did sound better, um, but these still sounded really good. I didn't. There's nothing wrong with them. I would say um, build-wise, they are uh, fairly decent quality. I mean, I'm not going to knock them. I'm. I think they feel all right. They are very plastic and um, very lightweight, which is um, a good thing when you're wearing them. They're not too heavy. They're quite comfortable. Um, I felt that actually my ears fitted in them quite nice, the cup's quite big. Um, the main features for these, I think, are just sort of the ease of them. So if you're going to be using these, I would recommend they are just for your PS5. I wouldn't, they're a bit too faffy to be taking with you and doing other things. You can plug them in through the aux port into your laptop, or you can plug the USB dongle into your laptop and do it that way, or, or PC or whatever other thing you're using. But I would honestly say that that, is just a bit of a faff really unless you don't have another pair of headphones um it's something that you can do but it's just it's not easy to do it you can't just quickly just get a bluetooth pair of headphones just quickly pair them to the next thing when you turn it on you have to go get a dongle out and plug it into your computer or use a wire not ideal however with the ps5 if you have the dongle in the back of your ps5 essentially all you need to do is switch these on and you're ready to go um, and what's quite nice is if you turn them on and you turn them off it automatically mutes the PS5 as well. So you don't have to worry about then also going and having a little mute icon on your TV if you've got that. It just does it all automatically, so it's really nice. I would say mic quality wise, they are okay. I would say that the 
they do pick up a little bit of ambient noise. I don't know what how much noise cancelling they were expecting. I was expecting it to be a bit better. Um, you still do pick up a lot of noise around the room. So, for example, if someone walks in and talking far away, um, you're going to be hearing that if you're on chat with someone. Um, and mic quality is okay. It's, it's standard for sort of like a normal chat type game mic so you're not going to be recording anything of any sort of high quality high fidelity um through these mics so this is me um talking normally with the headphones on uh, and this is the quality that you get um whilst wearing these pulse 3d headphones i think the benefits are is that you just got some sort of useful features for gaming the fact that it's easy to switch on you've got um, a chat and game rocker that you can sort of quickly change the balance easily from the headset. Um, you also have a mute button on this on the headset as well. So if you want to mute your microphone, you can do that, and it's actually visibly sticks out further. It's like a, like a click mechanism, uh, so you know that even when you're holding it, you can tell that you're muted based on the position of the button. So that's quite nice. Um, and I would say actually these are good. The the key thing about these though, and the reason why these are better than normal headphones is the 3d audio um, it brings that sort of feature that is sort of entwined in a lot of ps5 games that they've done recently it brings them into it and it does make a difference i was a little bit unsure of how much of a difference it would actually feel like i was a bit skeptical honestly going into it um, and i played it with both my headphones which would only work stereo plugged into the remote and these headphones which obviously have 3d audio and despite the fact that I felt like it did sound higher quality on the other headphones, like the bass and the thuds and stuff hit harder on those headphones, the precision of knowing where things are coming from from this, I mean, I have two ears. I don't really understand how sort of your hearing works regarding positioning. But I could tell that things were in front of me or behind me. And I did a test when I was playing Spider-Man. Um, I would stand on a busy street and I would sort of close my eyes and spin my character around so I didn't really know which way I was facing. And then I would listen to traffic and I would sort of try and figure out where the road was, where the people are. And then I would try and, when a car was going past, I'd be like, that car's going from left to right. And I'd open my eyes and check if I was right. And on the stereo headphones, obviously I was right occasionally. It was It was actually really hard to be, you had no idea. Without having the visual link up with that you wouldn't have any idea however with the um the pulse 3ds and the 3d spatial audio you did know and like with um astro's playroom you're going up and down you've got things zipping past and you can see you can actually hear the height of the audio things that are above you you can tell that they're above you and i think that's crazy i mean it's obviously um, just bringing like sort of like high and sort of dolby style audio to this now the ps5 doesn't have it doesn't support um dolby atmos but it sort of brings that style thing to your headphones and that's really clever and i really like it. so how would i summarize these i would say that these are a great purchase are they a must buy um no if you can afford to get better headphones then get better headphones if, if that's something that you want to spend your money on um because they're not the best in in a lot of ways it, it could be better like going between other devices if you wanted to do that it could also be better in terms of the sound quality on some of the low ends i think it could just be a little bit better but it's still very very good it's not bad sound at all for the price point i think these are actually a very good buy i don't think you're going to get anything much better for a similar price i think you're sort of if you're looking at that sort of price tag these are going to be up there um it, the only things i would say they're missing is they're missing the ability to have an extra mic just plugged into this if you could have um a a mic plugged in that can come a bit closer to you uh, these would be unbeatable if you had the option of that um but we don't and they are the price they're the price but i mean guys you might completely disagree with me um stick in the comments whether if you've tried these and you've used them or if you have a pair or if you've returned them or if you're in love with them let me know in the comments i want to know what you think and also if there are other accessories um for the ps5 that you want me to have a look at and get in a bit more detail and give you my opinions on or um, things that you think are great and you want to share with other people, stick them in the comments below. Guys, the main reason for buying these was to try them out with the VR headset that's coming out, the PSVR 2. Um, so that'll be coming out at the end of February. So subscribe to see all my videos that I'm going to do when I get that. I think that is really where the 3D audio element of these is going to shine. I think that's going to make the biggest difference. So I'm looking forward to doing that and I'll keep these... Um, well, I think I might keep them long term. I'm not entirely sure yet, but I'll see how they go with that headset and then maybe 
maybe I'll keep her. But guys, that is all from me. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.